Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of a program. Patsy, here we're on TV once again, once a day, every day, trying to machines and live forever. Look, the dog knows the name of the dog. <sighs> I ate too much. I'm so full. I'm about to sleep. I got the itis already. I mean, uh, yeah, before I even started, I already ate too much. And now what? Uh, I'm already sitting here. I mean, this is the time to eat, right, dog? You know what time it is? It's food time, sadly. I'm so full. But I got another plate of food. Um, I just came from this party with uh, white people next door there. And uh, I ate it all. Boy, let me tell you, probably too much. Oh, and I took off my shoes. Then we'll get Freddy to, to, with shoes on to go uh, get the water. What do you think, dog? Say, Freddy, I took off my shoes. I ate the water. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's up? Uh, it's uh, Friday. I made it all the way back around here. Yesterday was uh, Thursday. And was it yesterday? Was it Freddy was here? I don't remember. Was it yesterday or was it? I think it was yesterday. We were saying a lot of things, doing things, living. Uh, I don't remember what though. I don't remember it all yesterday, but I, I know I was talking a lot. Uh, and. Uh, about what the living life how many pe the percentages percentages and stuff um i got back here or after the program i got in my car drove home to my residence over there at grandma's house to do some sleeping i'm going to sleep early and uh now now what i don't know what i'm gonna do keep going to sleep early now it's the weekend and then you disrupt your sleep patterns or something but now i'm so tired Oh yeah! Oh you you you! Good dog. I uh. I don't know if you're confused. Like, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I don't see anybody else standing here. I'm talking to the TV, dog. I'm talking to the TV. All of TV. Um. Yeah, I made it home last night. Did some sleeping. Did some TV. A little bit of TV. A little bit of sleep. Mostly sleep, and then I went back to work again. Um, but I'm going to be working from home now, starting soon, and doing it for a while. i got to get water, dog. It's in the car. Um, maybe I'll, I'll go outside, but i got to put my shoes back on, too. I don't have my shoes. I don't have my other things. And i got to get water out, because I want to drink it. And for the pills. There's many reasons, more than one reason to get water. I'm going to be getting some more pills, though. I bought them from Bezos. They're going to come in the mail soon. So I'm going to pull it up even more. Oh, I'm kind of dizzy. I'm like, you ever eat so much that you're kind of dizzy? Usually you go to sleep. Like, I could just take a nap, but I uh, started the program instead. Like, I'm going to go eat, like, a pile of pork. I think it was uh, our uh, landlord people are having a party. And uh, the neighbor, they remodeled the neighbor's spot. Our spot is not remodeled but their spot is, is remodeled and it's all fancy and um they had a party and uh they served barbecue and uh barbecue is expensive if it's like ten dollars for like a smallish serving and i probably had at least five six servings worth so i think i ate like sixty seventy dollars worth of food over there really if i we counted it. I guess it's less if it's bulk, but it was there. So then I started shoving it in like it was no, there was, like there was no tomorrow. And now I'm at the meat sweats, maybe the pork sweats. Wow, I eat too much pork. I sure do. <laughs> did did that did, diddly dang dang. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be back at home though on Monday. So I got the weekend, and then Monday. That's what's going to be happening, you know? You know how time moves forward, dog? 
No? No? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You smell my pork crust? Yesterday, I was mean, saying a lot of stuff. Talking about like living, all the stuff. But today I'm tired. I don't know. Was this today I was tired? I think it's the pork. I ate too much pork. God, it's making me sleep. I don't get to get the water. Maybe I should go get the water anyway. Well, who's gonna watch the dog? Somebody's got to be in here. I would prefer to get back in here. I'm gonna leave you alone again, and then I'm gonna go get the water at that point. Um, yeah, party, you know. I met a, a, a city council person, and I told them the same thing I always tell city council people, and that is to get rid of that fence. You know, when you go to the well and there's a fence, uh, for no reason, it's just in an alley. Why do they not just remove the fence? They don't want an alley? They could turn it into a parking lot. They could do anything with it, really, other than it being an uh, area. At least make a wall. If they built a wall, I wouldn't even know. It would be an empty space. You'd think it was part of the bar. Or they could turn it into the bar, like uh, the lounge. I mean, they already have a lounge, but they could have even more of a lounge. They could have a wraparound lounge. But instead, there's a fence with an alley where you have to go, and then you, if you want to get the water, you got to go around. And I, I guess I drive there now, so it doesn't really matter to me. I drive everywhere, so it doesn't matter if it's that like driving around or walking around, but it's still irritating, I guess, a little bit. And they didn't, you know, they're like, I said, hey, can you uh, go remove the fence? Can you do one thing? Can you just do one thing, city council? What are they, they give me the, the politics, so they give me the politics of the situation. I say, do you work? I don't know how much the people on the city council have to get if they get paid, or what's the point of being on the city council? If we didn't give out a, a politician award this time. We gave out a politician award. Well, let's see, 2020, we gave out the politician award to a a person on the city council. I don't know if they're still still on the city council. The other uh, the other award, I think last year we didn't have a city council award. We're just pretty much giving away the awards to whoever will take them. Um, and that's going to be coming up pretty soon here. We kind of put all the holidays in one season. Well, one's in fall and one's kind of in winter. Hayakuba and the Cream of the County Awards. Those are the only real holidays. Maybe we should come up with a... Mm, well... You don't need more holidays. Halfway, halfway Hayakuba. It's like six months, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's three, so it's like March. It'd be March 19th. Could be a thing. Oh, Patsy, I ate too much pork. I ate too much. I'm tired now. I want to go to sleep. Huh? What do you think about that? Where'd Freddy go? He left you in here, huh? He's out there cruising. He went back to the party. Oh, is he outside? I don't know. I gotta get the water. I can see it from here, though. It's downstairs. There, yeah, I should get my shoes back on. Today, um, actually, I spilled the water in my shoes. I left the shoes in the car. I don't know why. I took off my shoes and I left them in the car with next to the gallons of water and the gallons of water dripped on my shoes and then on my way to work I didn't wear shoes for some weird reason it was kind of like a, a big uh, this this is a cacophony that led to this but I so I got the water last night I got the water that's why there's no water up here right now because I got it last night and then I left it in the car and then I for some reason left my shoes in the car too oh because Yesterday was free hot dog day at 7-Eleven, which doesn't really have anything to do with my shoes, but I stopped by 7-Eleven for my free hot dog, and I mean, the hot dog's only one seventy nine, and it's kind of weird, I think gas, everybody's buying gas, so when you buy gas, because I got the electric car, not to rub it in, but you buy the, uh, I don't buy gas, so I, I still think that it's fun 
to get stuff. People are down there like, I'm just spent $5. I just put $50 on gas. I'm going give me a dollar. 79 hot dog. Who cares about that? But I saw somebody. I went inside to get the hot dog. And I saw people without a hot dog. And I was like, don't you know it's free hot dog day? I told that to a, a man with a crew cut. And he did not even respond. And, hey, it's free hot dog day. <laughs> hey, didn't you know? Didn't you know? And he did not even respond to me. He didn't. He just kept looking forward. But I think, like, I could tell that he had heard me. He just did not even acknowledge me, um, which was a little. It was a little weird. And then when that guy was driving off, I saw that he had um, a big car, but his like he had like a um, a jeepy kind of SUV machine car. I don't know what they're called, but it was big. It was one of those big old cars. He had the crew cut, and then it said coexist on his bumper sticker he had a bumper sticker that said coexist even though he did not acknowledge the hot dog he's like hot dogs oh not there don't you know about the environment free hot dogs i'm at 7-eleven and driving my jeep out of here don't you know about coexisting he didn't want to coexist with me he didn't want to acknowledge my uh hot dog offer um uh, yeah you like hot dogs Patsy likes hot dogs. It's pretty got them in a the bag, feeding them, feeding them to Patsy all the time. Um. All right. Well, I gotta get water. I thought Freddie would be back by now. I'm gonna get water, dog. Did you drink your water? Oh, I could drink your water. Freddie poured it out into your cup. I don't know if you drink any of it though, but I want it. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go get it. I'll be back. Stay. You stay. You stay. I'm gonna go. I'll be right back. Where's my keys? Oh, here they are. I'm getting the water, dog. You stay here. It's my keys are um tangled. What? Oh, can you get my water? Can you get my water? Here, I'm unlocking the car. Did you go back to the party? Ah. Oh. No, just one. All right. Hey, um, Freddie's bringing me the water, Patsy. I need to go get it. Freddie went to get a fork. I think we, he he did go back to the party though. What the? It's like somebody like opening the door. Um, pop the thing. I don't know. Patsy, you got, you got my hair all over me. You got your hair on me. I, I pulled it out of you, though, okay? It's okay. <laughs> Look at those big eyes. Oh, Patsy. Yeah. I'm going to tell Freddy all these stories that I just told you when he gets up here. Um, did you, uh, oh, Leo should be eating, too. Oh, I'm so full, though. If I was eating, that's, like, the time would go by slower, but, uh, thank you. Um, down, thank you. Down! Patsy, did you drink some water? Patsy's confused about why I'm talking. Well, you probably know by now. This is what I do, huh? You know. Uh, you don't know why people talk at all. Yesterday, uh, they, they, get, they at the new 7 Eleven. You've been to that new 7 Eleven? Have you seen it? I've seen uh, it being. Uh, I have seen it being built. But I didn't see it um, getting, like, open. Well, I went in there for novelty's sake, even though there's one that's closer to my home and I never go. Yeah. But uh, they yesterday was free hot dog day. But the hot dog's only $1.79. Oh. In gen usually. Hey, only $1.79. Wow. Like, it's free? Like, well, yesterday. usually it's only $1.79. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wow. Hey. hey come back. Yeah, yesterday they were free, though. Every and day is free hot dog day for Patsy. She gets free hot dogs every day. Um, But I stopped in there just for the hot dog, and then I was in there. I'm telling the story again. I told them. I told them that Already? I would tell you again. Already, so now I'm doing it. But uh, there was a guy with a crew cut. Uh huh. And I said, "It's free hot dog day." Like I saw people in there without a hot dog. They're in line. Oh yeah. I was like, "Don't you know?" Don't yeah. you know? But I think they don't. They don't care because the gas is five dollars or something, right? So they're like buying the gas. They're like, "I don't care about a dollar. It's only a hot dog." Oh yeah. And that guy um, had a crew cut. 
Oh, like he, a military cut? But he did not acknowledge my presence, and I he was, like said it's free hot dog day, and he just ignored you. Yeah, basically, <laughs> I like I like said it to him, and then he like didn't say a word and turned around. What? He's like, hey, he didn't he didn't want to talk to me, but I was by wow. myself at night getting a free hot dog. <laughs> 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 what time of night? I mean, it was only like it was like eight. Oh, it was yeah. after I left here. We were here last night, right? Yeah. So it was like after I left here, stopped by Seven Eleven on the way home. I'm getting a free hot dog. Like it's free hot dog day! Don't you know it's free hot dog day? And then, uh, and then when he didn't acknowledge, I was laughing at him. Oh, nice. I guess, which is kind of weird. That was that would be a strange experience for that guy. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I was, I was entertained by his ignoring me, and then I was laughing. Um, and then I almost told the cashier that that guy was ignoring me too. I but like that guy didn't even want a free hot dog. Did you see that? And I was like, wait a minute, this is kind of. I mean, it is kind of crazy. But I saw somebody else with a hot, they were getting a free hot dog. Who would not like, get a free hey, hot yeah, dog? Why would you not yeah. get a free hot dog? And it's free. But that guy had a um, big Jeep or something, some kind of big car. And it had a coexist sticker on it. Really? The guy who ignored you? Yeah. And he had a Jeep. He's driving a gas guzzler. Coexist, but like ignore. Hippie. It's like a hippie sticker. And so, you know, yeah. but he looked like an army guy and he was mad. And... He was buying pizza or something. He was buying like other 7-Eleven kind of stuff. There was somebody else. No, like one person had a free hot dog. It was like me and one other person. The people getting the free hot dogs, like that's all we had. But the people that weren't getting the free hot dogs, and I'm like, hey, it's a free hot dog, but it's only like a dollar seventy nine anyway. And somebody like asked me for. It depends on who it was. Actually, you know what? This is this is not a good thing. What? Um, because I was at old school. This is like a week ago. This I'm thinking about this. I don't think I mentioned this, but like. I was sitting inside the place, like waiting for my food, and somebody who already had pizza, they asked me for a dollar. Whoa. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, what, I don't know what, the, what this is about. Um, and then... Uh, did you give them a dollar? I did, I gave them a dollar. He was like a guy, I mean, it's like you don't give dollars to people who really need a dollar or something, but uh, I don't know who's asking for change or something. It's like, uh, I don't know. But if, I guess if, if, if one of those guys asked me while I was inside, oh, uh, maybe you know, some, like, I'm a begging lawyer in there. But... I gave him a dollar. I was like, what does this guy want a dollar for? He wants more pizza. He was eating pizza already. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm like, okay. But then I gave him a dollar. And then he bought a sticker. And then he gave it to a little kid. What? Yeah. He's like, here you go. And the kid and the kid and the family were like, uh, what's the what? Point? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, was wrong, it was really odd. Oh, and no. I was like, oh, did I just fund this weirdness? I'm like, what's going on? He's like, I'm like, and then he came back and he's like, did you see? I gave him a sticker to a kid. Uh, 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 uh. Can I talk to you after? Yeah, he's like, oh, thanks for that dollar. Did you see what I did with it? Like, My, yeah, uh, I saw that. That was weird. I did see that. I don't know. I, I, I wish I didn't talk to you in the first place. I was trying to buy silence from you. Yeah. Um, so I gotta teach you to give money to strangers. But he was already, he was already like talking to me uh-huh. for a dollar. You know, like, why are you talking to me? This, this is weird. Like, you're some, like, you're not like on the streets, like asking for me for money. That's like. And then, like, you give people a dollar, and Sam Miller threw a dollar out the window. Oh, yeah. And I didn't even, yeah. I wasn't even shocked. Yeah, I was a little shocked. Uh, I was like, that seems fine. Yeah. Because only a dollar, a dollar is not even anything anymore. That's true. In, in this world. What even is a dollar? I think I ate $60 worth of pork. You did? Yeah. Jeez. Because, what well, pork's $12 for a sandwich for like a single like sandwich with it's not like oh, not wow. really loaded up you know if yeah. you get or like more if you get like a sandwich like this size sandwich like a hamburger basically yeah but like a pulled pork hamburger wow that's i didn't get the barbecue i should get barbecue sauce there was barbecue sauce I in those squeeze it. bottles yeah I, I saw it and now i like i knew i'm having a weird thing where i like remember seeing it but then i didn't get it uh, yeah but i'm so full oh i'm full and it's smoky i got uh Pork. Those are th- those situations are weird. Are you telling about the place we just were at? Yeah. And it's just like there's like free stuff, but then you're like, am I supposed to eat all this free stuff? Can I take this free stuff out the door with me? It's like it's free. I did. I, I think there's gonna be leftovers. We did too. Yeah, but it's like it's this whole the freedom in uh, such a business zone is like confusing juxtaposition, I guess. Because really, they do want something from you. They want to, like, sell you the rental. They're, like, advertising uh, not, not space or something, uh, you know? Yeah. In a weird way. 
Or, uh, yeah, it's business. he's making business connections or something? Yeah. We made some business connections today. We'll see if we get some weird phone calls from business people now. Or money. Who don't know what's going on. Hey, I, I, I called you and I have a business. And here's some money. Hey, I'd like to give you money. Oh, I'm kind of dizzy. I'm so full, I'm dizzy. Maybe, I, maybe I'm dehydrated, too. I don't want to drink water. I'm eating salty foods. and. Yeah, you tried to get water, and they said, uh, we only have booze and sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So I tried to get a bottle of water. Like uh, Right when I got there, I tried to get a bottle. And they're like, no, we're not going to give you a bottle. And then we saw people drinking the bottles. I told yeah. you about them not getting the bottle. And then we saw other people drinking the bottle. I'm like, hey, those people are drinking the bottle. And then... I went back and like, can I have a bottle? And they said no again. Yep. So yeah, you did give it to those. I'm not about to call. Like that's not fair. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's not fair. I'm gonna bring it up here. Like uh, uh, a general thing. Not that it's. I mean, it's not fair, but it's nothing's fair. Nothing's I guess. fair. Yeah. That's not fair. That's not really a reason to do anything. People. They, that guy's got it. Hey, they got it. I want. I want it. Um. Did I finish this? I don't think I ever told the, finish this, this story about having wet shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, I've actually been waiting to hear the end of this one. Did you hear the beginning of it? Uh, no. I, but I will. I, I, oh, you want me to get, are uh, you going to watch the episode or something? Is it yeah, I'm going to watch the beginning uh, of this episode and find out. And then, the and so I should get to the story. end of the story? Yeah. So I don't even know how far I got, but I put the water next to my shoes and I left, for some reason, oh, I got the hot dog. It's, it's continuing my night, really. Oh, yeah. But I got the hot dog, and then I, for, I took off my shoes in the car, and then I left them next to the water, and then the water leaked a little bit, and then I and then when I went to work today, I didn't put on my shoes because they're already in the car. I don't know why. I take out my you took your shoes off in the car before you like you got out of the 7-Eleven and just like took your shoes off. Yeah. In the car. Yeah, I don't know. Drove both home. Both at home. I did. Yeah. And then, and then my shoes were get some car slippers. Yeah, <laughs> I need slippers everywhere. My shoes were already in the car, so I was like, oh, let's leave my shoes in the car. Put them on when I get to work, I think, maybe, or something. And then, so then I get to work, and my shoes, one shoe is very wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already at work, and I'm like, oh, oh I, don't, no. I don't have a, can't, you gotta wear your shoes. So I just put on a wet shoe. Um, <laughs> you had like a dry sock. And yeah. a wet shoe, and pretty soon that's a wet sock. It was, and then I, uh, I think I left, I, <laughs> uh-oh, well, the, it's okay. I set up a fan, they have these, like, clip fans, and I set it up, like, under my desk, to, so I could put my foot on it, to, in an attempt to dry it out, which I think it did dry it out pretty well. Yeah. But, uh, I think I left the fan clipped to the bottom of the desk on. Oh, no. And, Good thing you didn't work at Ecology, and... Yeah, I'm not going to be going back there for a while. I'm going to work from home for a while, so... Oh, not even Monday, huh? Yeah. Just going to be blowing in the wind. Yeah, but they're going to be like, why is there a f- Why did you put a fan under the desk? I mean, it makes, it makes some sense. Yeah. You're getting some airflow. At TCTV, uh, under the front desk, they had, like, a heater, like, in the mm. hot times. Uh, cold times. Oh, yeah, cold times. At you, need, the you need hot times under the table. At the, um... In a car, there's air that way, right? Yeah, yeah, you want that foot air. Yeah. So it's not so crazy, I guess. Um, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go over there, I guess. All right, I went oh. back to the party to get a fork and then got caught talking to some people. Oh, yeah, would you... You were, did some more hobnobbing, huh? Uh, yeah, I was looking to hobnob. That was my favorite. That was what I was expecting to do. Uh, it's really... A pretty big reason of why I made these cards. Yeah. So. You, <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I didn't like how you didn't like hobnobbing before, but now you have these cards. Yeah, I don't know if I didn't like hobnobbing before. It's kind of easy to hobnob. Did just like. Is that a party beer? Yeah, I did also stole a beer. Nice. Or it's free. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. It's weird. Yeah. Oh man, I still have two plates of food, but I gotta eat the pill. So. One of those plates is my plate. A hidden oh, plate. Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm. Now I have a fork. Sick. I'm sick. Sick of eating. I'm Patsy's so might. Patsy, you might be hungry. I'm so. Oh, she is hungry. I'm, her food's in the car. Oh yeah, go should get we, it. Should we give her some pork? Um, sure. But it's very smoky. Oh, she's yeah, see, she's, she's begging. Like, give me food. 
food. Yeah, go get her food. What are you going? You're going to do some food, Pepsi. I think you should get her her actual food. Um, we should listen to this message. Oh, call my brother. He's uh, on Friday. He has Friday. It's off usually. Let's call him. You get. I think you should get the dog's food. I'm going to, but she's uh, doing so good at begging that I was going to give her one of those hot dogs, but I lost it. Oh, you want some there they pork? Are. Uh, Patsy, shake. You're successfully begging. Isn't she cute, though? She's oh, so you're cute. a good dog, you're bad. She's so oh, cute. Like I can't believe how cute she is. Aww. I just can't think of, like, a cuter dog. Oh, I'm so full. All right, yeah, I'm going to go get her food out of the car. Okay. You can probably see me on the street, but... Oh, yeah, go across the street and... Yep. Hello? Hello? Andrew? Oh. It's a program on TV, how are you? Uh, guys, going. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, I just uh, I, my landlord downstairs. Uh, they are having a party. Oh yeah, why? I don't know why, but they had one and they had a food spread, and I uh, ate way too much pork because it was buffet style. What kind of food? They had pulled pork. They had barbecue pork from Barb's Barbecue and. You know, charcuterie and cookies and they had shrimps. Uh, they had booze. Lots of stuff. But I ate way too much and now I'm sick. Wow. Oh, I need a nap. I'm gonna go to sleep now, huh? Yeah, doggy. Dog's over there. Patsy's here. Patsy, I ate way too much food. Patsy wants to eat way too much food. Well, maybe not. Um, now, and then, you know, I could see the homeless people out the window. At the party. You know? Oh, yeah. Maybe they want some of that food. Nah. nah. Oh, here's an emergency. Where is it? Oh, there's Freddy. You can see him. We're looking at Freddy across the street. Uh, what are you watching TV? Did Freddy get food? Yeah, Freddy got food also. Oh. Are you watching TV? Uh, yep. Yeah, what's on TV? Nothing. I want, I want pulled pork now. Yeah, I'll bring some home. Oh, yeah? Yep. Alright, do I, it. I'm so full that I'm tired, I'm gonna sleep. Yeah, bring me, bring me some pulled pork. Yeah, I will, it's from Barb's. Wow. Um, what do you eat for dinner? Pulled pork? Oh, yeah? Oh, I kinda got a, kinda give me a headache. <coughs> I ate so much pork I got a headache. Wow. You, uh, you ever feel guilty about having a home when there's people who are struggling in the world? Nope. Nope? <laughs> That's good. Whoa, whoa. Pretty got a stack of VCRs, it looks like. Is it hot in here? It's hot in here, right? Or am I dying? I got the pork sweat. Pork sweat. I eat so much pork. Where's the, um, oh, I was looking at you outside and then... I forgot I didn't change the camera. Where's my fish pills? Here they are, I found them. I threw them away, oh. Oh, you, oh. Just kidding, no. Oh my god, right you're scaring me. I need my fish pills, I'm addicted to fish. Um, whoa, there's water, there's water there. It's spilling it. Why are you doing that? What's going on? Um, let's get, let's get the numbers going. I'm gonna feed the dog. Uh, you gotta, she, oh, that's why you moved the table? She needs some more space. Oh, okay. She's, uh, too, feeling too crowded up there. You feeling more freedom, dog? Yeah, she is now. You can tell her feelings? 
Yeah, I, by the way she acts. She looks a lot more calm now. <laughs> I don't think there's anything changed. Can you, is there subtle changes I'm missing out on? Maybe I'm... It's pretty subtle. Yeah, see the way her ears are now? That's better. Alright, we have some, pick some numbers, Andrew. 38, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, 52, I guess the dog can get new numbers even though the dog has legacy numbers. I don't know where a pen is. I'm writing in this lavender pencil. Oh. What are the what are the dog numbers today? Here we'll all, we'll, we'll all pick one number, and then uh, I don't know about the last number. Okay. Let's see. How about 23? This is the dog's numbers. Oh, I think that, remember I got a splinter yesterday? Yeah, I remember. I think it's inside, I think it went inside instead oh of outside. God. Now it's like in there. Now it's my now my body has to eat it or something. It's like slowly working its way into your bloodstream? Yeah, my, my body has to really digest it now or something. How does that work? Uh, that does not happen. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't? No. Where does it, There's no way to digest it with like your finger. I thought it's just like really slowly going to digest it. It might like decay in there, but it's nowhere for it to go. But it, it, my, my immune system's gonna break it up slowly. It is. I think so. What That's happens, good. What happens otherwise? What's the alternative? It, it comes back out. I think. Like my body's gonna push it out. Yeah. And they're not gonna notice. And they're gonna think it's been eaten. Uh, yeah. I always the splinters always work their way out eventually for me. It goes the other and way. you notice? Yeah. And then you pull it out? You pull out the It's a really thing. small splinter, though. It's enough to be irritating. All right, here, I'll pick one number for the dog. What number do you want for the dog, Andrew? Uh, four. All right. Charlie always got a three. All right, that'll be the dog's number. And then you get one number. All right. Uh, for the dog? Yeah. Uh, 12. Because we got a. Um, December. That's the dog. D for dog. Me. Andrew, or that's Andrew's first. Then me. I gotta get my numbers. Yeah. And I'm writing in a lavender uh, 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 colored pencil, which is like maybe the worst. Hmm. Where's the pens? I don't know. Oh man, I need a nap. I got the eyes real bad. I remember the last time it was like this. I ate so much. You didn't give the... Oh, you gotta... This is the food's right in front of the dog, but you haven't fed it to her yet. No. Okay. Uh, I'm here, you read, you read him. Yep. The number is here. It's 75. 36. 35. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, check this out. What? 35, 36, 37. No way. And 75. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. What? 35, 36, 37. Wow. That's amazing. No way. Way. Who's ever going to, uh, you're never going to pick that. No, I, I picked 36. Andrew picked 38. Mm. But, uh, none of us got... More than one or anything else. Wow. It happened. Wasn't it last week or the week before I was doing consecutive numbers? Yeah. Sometimes there's so consecutive numbers. Hey, that it, is see? never going to happen ever again. That's see? never going to happen ever again. Yeah. See. Three numbers like that? That will never happen ever again. Uh, it was like that birthday thing where you have like it's like some low amount of numbers you know, where it's like very likely that you're going to have somebody in your... Oh! Oh! <laughs> you just hit like the soy sauce. <laughs> you like... You didn't like to get like, like splash soy sauce on me. <laughs> that was it. Open soy sauce on the table. <laughs> it's your fault! <laughs> 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 
Uh, whoops, sorry, I shouldn't have. Uh, I'm gonna. I should have known that soy sauce. Was somebody's gonna tell me that smells like soy sauce, and then we're talking about racist. <laughs> Write that down. What? Well, what just happened? You spilled soy sauce? I spilled soy sauce on myself and it was a stand-up joke? Write it down? Uh, no, you should, you, should, you should write down this day. It's a historic day. The, what? Did I spill soy sauce on myself? No, 35, 36, 37. That's fucking insane. It is? That's almost as crazy as, uh... Guessing the numbers or something, I don't know. Maybe if it was mm. all four, I guess, consecutive, I'd be impressed. Now, I feel like yeah, I'm, I'm jaded. I've seen it. I've seen too much. I mean, yeah. Andrew, there's an episode, there's an episode of the dice. Remember the dice game, Andrew? Uh, where you roll six dice? There was a, yeah. the very first time that the dice got... Um, all of them rolled. It was World Peace Day. All it was like one, two, three, four, five, and six mm. was the dice numbers, and that was a spectacular moment. Like that was amazing. But it happened a second time, actually. Yeah. Is it World Peace Day? That was World Peace Day. That was the first Today time. Today World Peace Day. Uh, it's just uh, 36, 37, 38 day. No. I mean, you get like a like a a straight. In poker, oh, but there's, I guess there's a lot, there's like four of each kind or something, I don't uh, know. In poker, I think you're also like swapping out cards or something, right? Mm. Patsy, you want some dinner? Where's the, here it is. Oh, I'm too full. Patsy's getting food. All right. All right, bye. Don't forget, what? Don't forget to give me food. Okay. Bring me, bring me food. All right. Okay, bye. 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 Will Patsy eat her food? Yep, she's eating I'm the food. I'm reading a medic, um, uh, message on TV. I'm watching this French short film while I'm, um... Maybe they should still call it film while I'm, uh, you know, leaving you this message. I mean, um, not really. We've got this woman who's going to take care of this old lady. What else is there? Like, that's like film, you still call it? It's an old thing. Uh, I guess I call it the gap. photograph. Photograph, yeah. It's not a photograph. Nobody, say, everybody, nobody says photograph, though. No? no. Like, I'm going to take a photo. Ready? A picture. I'm going to take a photograph of you. They're taking a picture. Yeah, then I'm going to take a picture, yeah. You're right. Picture is is valid stuff, right? Yeah, it is a picture. What That's about true. um? I still say the gas. You know, I got an electric car. Uh huh. I'm like putting the gas gas pedal. Mm, yeah, and yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. Very confused by it so far. Um, this woman, the good-looking like redhead woman who comes to his little village in uh, France. The ugly redhead. And this is like an older middle-aged guy. Like, says, oh, it's finally good to meet you. She's from the internet. She says, oh, fine. No, oh, the, you're from the internet. It's good that you're here now, you internet person. From the internet. And, you know, she's almost dance, uh, dressed like she's like a... Um, like a stripper or something, but she's here. Oh, she's yeah. Here this old woman. We heard some stories about strippers today. Um, so I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna call and complain. Got the neighborhood gossip. What? This movie's broken. I guess. <laughs> um. You know, I wonder. <laughs> the movie's broken. I guess we, we brought it up, but she was being like pretty frank. Yeah. And she's like a, you know, she's like 55. She's my favorite one of them. Have she's you met like, her before? She's like that? Uh, yeah, she's who takes our rent checks. Oh, okay. She's great. She was, she was being frank. Maybe you know her, maybe you know her more than I do. We, we talk about, yeah, we just shoot the shit a little bit when, oh, okay. when I go pay rent. I had never met her before, but there's like a Thai massage place across the street. 
Yeah. And it seems well, um, like it's a hand job uh, prostitution. Yeah. And she thinks it is too. She had some crazy story about. Yeah, I don't know. I always was just like, yeah, it sure looks like that, but it's probably not. I was always like, it's probably just a regular massage place. Yeah. But. but uh, something I was thinking about last night. I was thinking, what if? Because you know, in this life, you can do a lot of things. You can't do anything. You can't jump up and fly around my town, but you can do a lot still. Yeah. But there's some like restraints you have. Like um, what? But one of the things you can do in this life is you can get peanuts out of the food cupboard. And you can hide them all over the house. Oh, yeah. We're way you behind. Know, I was thinking, what if I did that? What if I took all these peanuts? Well, it's so far behind that we, he, like, brings up the, message, the messages again. And we talk about them. Like, and then, yeah, I guess most people, like, make like, it back have, around to them. Have peanuts? Like yeah, this message is, like, over a week old. That's what I'm trying to say. And I hid each little half of a peanut in different places of the house. So you'd have to, like, uncover them. I think the rats would get to Damn them. Damn it, who hit these peanuts all over my house? I don't think anybody would find them. They just get rats. Yeah. yeah. And if you have like 600 peanuts. Oh my god. You could hide them so well that people would be discovering them for years. And it would probably become like an ant problem. Yeah. I don't have enough room for pills. You know, that's Rat. one thing you could do. It's within the realm of possibility. I found, a, yeah. a friend came into the cafe shop today. Mm. And we were like, hadn't seen each other for a while. And I said, he said, uh, how's the program? I was like, going on, doing Hayakaba. And he's like, oh yeah, I saw you guys live last night. I was like, what? You did? Watching live. Hmm. Was me and you on the couch talking. Oh. And he was like, oh, me and Nehemiah were watching. And he said that maybe, he was like, oh, maybe we should come down and stand on the street. And then we'd be in the video. Yeah. And then he was like, but then we decided that would be too much effort. And so we just stayed inside mm. and watched it. Oh. And then uh, he told me, we we're like catching up, and he said, I've got a rat. And I was like, whoa, you have a rat? Like, a problem. He's like, is a rat problem or like a pet rat? And he's like, oh, the rat's been teaching me a lot of stuff. And I was like, oh. He's like, like saying it, like, he was like, like, like what? showing where to clean the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I still didn't quite put it together until at some point he really was saying, Yes, it was not. Uh, and then I told him a story about my friend who had a rat in college. Mm. Um, and he seemed really disturbed by it. Yeah. And I was like, what? I don't understand. But then I found it was a rat problem and not a pet rat. Oh, okay. Not a pet rat at all. And like, and, yeah, um, uh, Elias had some weird rat pet. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I remember. What, what, was, what was going on with that? Why was it so weird? Uh, didn't you let it, like, climb in her out, mouth? Her mouth? No. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that could be it. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> That's what my friend in college did. And oh, my God. She, uh, she was at the, like, rat put its whole head in her mouth. Why would the rat want to do that? Oh, I don't know. What's that? Uh, it's that message from Sophie. About Anne, Anne Green Gables. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so cold. Oh, don't call your fellas calm. Yo, fellow, we're calling you. I'm gonna crash a car on the way home today. Are you drunk or I need to go to work? <laughs> How much did you drink? Uh, I don't know, but I ate a lot. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna get. Yeah. Yeah, I don't operate any heavy machinery, that's for sure. Messages over the last couple weeks. I don't even know how to talk to him in person. Please leave a message after the tone. Yeah, I don't remember. Yo, Flow! It's the program. How are you? I ate too much. Now I'm food. I feel drunk. Maybe I remember I get a little lethargic at least. Am I going to make it home? Um, Peanuts all over the house with the rats. Uh, don't, don't put too many peanuts in your house. Did you eat the peanuts? They had some in the spread. I ate some peanuts. I ate a little bit of everything. I tried to. It was 
uh, as described, it was a unusually robust, um, now uh, what was it? Unusually robust, uh, refreshments. Is that alcoholic? No, I think it was just like, do you see the, I think they were like in, intentionally making the, um, spread look like, uh, Pornocopia decadent. Yeah. yeah. It mm-hmm. was like, it was like, they were intentionally being like, I dare you to try to eat all of this. Yeah. And there's people who were like, their job was to keep coming in as things got mm-hmm. eaten and like refill those things so that it continues to look just like completely like overflowing basically. Yeah. One of my, uh, one of my, uh, somebody I went to school with is working there. At the Olympic Rentals? Yeah, and then I saw him, and I hadn't seen him. You you know, say hi? I did say hi. Oh, good, yeah. Uh, I said, we went to high school, and it's been decades. We should give him a card. Oh, yeah. And now he's working there. I'm like, oh, you're working here. He's working, he was filling the food. He was, he was, he was filling the food, I was eating it. Oh, yeah, you know, I, was, I think I was thinking about the service industry yesterday, and the, the two industries. People at 7-Eleven, they're, like, hiring at 7-Eleven. They, like, built... They can't hire people. Everybody's having a hard time hiring people or something. And then they build a new 7-Eleven and it immediately have a hiring sign on it. And it's like just, it's like brand new. Um, the person working there looked pretty sad. Like yesterday I got my free hot dog and then I had a, yeah. like they gave me a coupon too. So, but I was like, I'm not getting the coupon and they just kind of waved me off. I was like, I want to give you this coupon. Uh huh. It's like, just take a free hot dog and get the fuck out of here. Oh, they're going to, you were going to give them the coupon for the free hot dog? Yeah, because I had a free hot dog coupon. Oh. And then she didn't even care about it. But maybe she got overwhelmed with, uh, I don't know. She got overwhelmed with free hot dog people and she's tired of it. She's over it. So everybody wants a free hot dog and just want to get uh, out of, like, and there's a free hot dog. Like, if hot dog is free or, like, she, I think she had to make the hot dogs probably. Like, you know how many hot dogs I made today? And then that's like, uh, yeah, the free free slurpee day too oh they probably they probably like free slurpee day because all they have to do is just pull the lever yeah uh somebody oh bye y'all fell. did I tell you that somebody went to like one of my high school friends um and maybe even I think elementary school friends that I I kind of lost t- touch with them uh after after we weren't little kids anymore but he works at the Slater County McDonald's in the morning. So when really? I get breakfast, I see him there. Oh, wow. And then I'm like, hey, working at McDonald's. And then my friend, my other friend's son, who was my, uh, my age, maybe even like a year or so younger than me, his son works at McDonald's now. I actually, that, he works at the McDonald's that I go to. Yeah, does he serve you? Did, you? did you see him there? I saw him there. Did he, what did he, he recognize me? And I said, hi. You work here. Whoa. He's like, yep. What does he do? Like, probably everything. He was, oh. like, bringing the food out to the um, parked cars. Like, mm. when they get, like, too big of an order or too long of a, um, like, an order that's going to take too long to make, you know? Yeah. You're like, uh, please go park in the, like, mobile pickup area zone. And then he ran it out to them. I'm considering, um... Getting a job at McDonald's and then doing it for like a, a day and then never coming back. One day a week? No, just one time. One day only. But it might be a lot of effort to even get in there. I'd have to give them all my. Uh oh. What was that? That was the the regular the regular tape. Feel safe, still going. Are we on the internet? Like internet volume? Okay. The uh. This this one's going. Oh yeah, this is recording. Failsafe is going. And the Maybe. volume the volume is working. Yeah. The volume is working. That's good. So we're good. Failsafe's work are wow. filling up. So then what we fill? Do we switch this tape? We make this tape the tape. This now. is the tape now. But now and we, we put a new tape in that one. Yeah. Is that how we do it? Sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. We put that. Well, that tape. Why did that tape fail? We don't know why. Is that tape too short? Maybe. Maybe yeah. we're, we're gonna put it in the failsafe tape. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is unprecedented. We haven't had this. This has never happened before. <laughs> uh, this is like why we made the fail safes, though. And the nice thing about it is uh, they worked so far. Yeah. Seemingly. Yeah. Yeah. Because if that happened, um, it would have been a failure. A week ago. Yeah. yeah. Or two weeks ago. For months. Speaking of years. Uh, you know. Hey, four three eight one. We're almost to episode four three eight four, which if you notice, oh yeah, that one of the exciting things about that is that it's gonna say uh, four three eight four down here and four three eight four up here on yeah. the um, on the phone number. On Hayakuba, I'm already like, oh man, we're gonna move all the stuff. It seems like I don't know, it won't be that. Well, how much work is it gonna be? Work. It's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> Where is it even gonna go? It's hard to even imagine. Yeah. You think we should do it? Uh-huh. You do? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm giving you an out. You don't think we should cancel it? We could cancel it. Yeah. And not do it. Just continue. Well. But then what? Then what are we going to do? Nothing. Yeah. Same stuff? It would be nice to make some sort of uh, exciting change for uh, Hayakaba. It would be. Maybe, well, I mean, I wasn't on the phone that much, but if, uh, what, what am I on the phone more often? Like, I could just, we could just stay over there and just say that we're done. All we would really need to do is move the computer mostly yeah and then like everything else I or even even not that we did just like only yeah only like one thing it is kind of nice thinking about not doing anything but, yeah um oh we could do oh we could just get if we just had like an, another computer that ran the phones over there and uh -huh. the thing was just like the recording thing which might be good anyway i mean you also could just get another monitor and like because the mouse is is mouse wireless oh yeah it's no it's not but it's pretty long yeah. So, yeah, all we would just put that monitor over there. Where it's like right there, right ahead of you? Yeah. That would... That would be the idea of like putting in a second mixer or something? Second video mixer, but then I like almost these days rarely even touch the thing. That's true. Oh, uh, but then we don't have the, the videos. But I could just get up more. Oh, yeah. That like probably sit, be healthy. Sitting anyway. on the couch, but then I'm... I might end up not sitting on the couch anyway. I don't know. I don't know about it, but maybe maybe it's the the itis talking we're right some, now. Yeah, we're having some second thoughts. But I I couldn't imagine um, doing anything. Yeah. Right now, I gotta eat too much. <sighs> I think you gotta eat this pill. I have one last pill. Doing something? Uh, rather not. Yeah, if we just do nothing. We could. We could just do nothing. Then we were saying Miller is like you like. For do uh, it's a a, a uh, strange uh, balance of, of laziness yet dedication. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, that's last actually point. a good quote. This is like um, what was that was in the quote? Uh, it was a uh, uh, paraphrasing, not a quote, quite a quote. Um, yeah, I don't like Monty Python, but you know that movie where he and Monty Python where he eats a, a lot, and then he's like, I couldn't eat a little bit more, and then he. Is that the meaning of life? Yeah. Yeah. And he's a fat guy, and then they serve him, like one more morsel or whatever. Is that that guy is back? funny because he's eating all this uh, food, and he's already like puking, like a lot of it out. Oh yeah, and then they give him a Tic Tac, or he, something uh, small. Uh, a wafer thin biscuit or something. Yeah. Oh. Than this guy. oh, but it's a bit thin. Then he explodes. <laughs> yeah, he explodes. Yeah. Not good. I think about Class. that a lot. You think about the guy that explodes a lot? Yeah. When I get full. <laughs> oh, you do? I'm like, oh, I just want to eat one more thing. And they explode like that guy in the movie. Yeah. I never liked it, but I, I like, had friends who liked it. So I, like, watched it, and I was like, maybe I'd like it. But yeah. I, I knew I didn't like it. So my friends liked it, so yeah. I watched it there, you know? Yeah. And then they were fans, so I was like, I guess I'm going to go along with this. Um, but something about it, I was like, something about it is not right. And then they were Because it was British? Yeah. <laughs> it was. I was like, I really don't like this as a kid, and I was being peer pressured into liking something. I don't know. I know that I know that you don't like British stuff, but Monty Python is pretty good, to be honest. Like, uh, the... I, as a kid, I really. Um, I, I, I I feel bad. I should not brought that. Should not have brought that. I I mean I have no I have no like I'm not like tied to it. I don't. Uh -huh. like, I'm not offended by you saying that it's bad, and I agree that you don't like it. And yeah. I, right. And I think that that's fine. But 
I Their pacing is pretty good. I mean, it's a, they, they well balanced comedies in a sense. The only problem is that they're British. But it's it's like it's through and through. It's not just the voice. Yeah. It's the whole thing. Oh, I see. It's the sensibility. Yeah. That I'm annoyed by. So. Yeah. 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 Not for you. It's not for anybody, and everybody who thinks that it is is wrong. Oh yeah. So Sorry. I'm saying that that's not that it's fine. People, li certain people like certain things. No, they're wrong. Okay. Some people are wrong. I have to admit, I have been wrong about other things, so um, that's fine with me, I guess. Uh, 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 I was wrong by eating too much. I just ate my last pill. And I act, uh, uh, now, you, uh, now you have to get Andrew any special food. You can just bring him one of those plates. Oh, uh, yeah, there's two plates. As uh, Madeline said, bring me some stuff, and I was going to eat that mm. and like, figure out what to bring her, but I think I'm just going to bring her that plate. Cheese and coleslaw? Yeah. Oh man! All right. Well, let's see. we got to do a message of the future. Was it yesterday we ran out of time? Yeah. We got five minutes left. Um, I look at 2018. The couch is—it it, it just looks better over there, you know. Yeah, it looks good. It does. The, this angle not the best. No. Couch angle. Let's get rid of the booth entirely. Look at how much more room we'd have. It is nice to have a table, though. It is. But it's actually difficult to work from that table in terms of, like, doing computer stuff or video editing. Yeah, because it's just totally full, right? Is that yeah. why? Well, that's part of it. And also, like, the computer is, like, not... It's like, if you sit at that spot, you're, like, too far away to do most work on the computer. Yeah. And if you sit on the other side of the booth, there's no, like, place to use the mouse. Yeah, we should so. have, like, a desk. Maybe we, we, could, uh, we could put the booth in my home. Oh, that's an idea. And then... Put a, a desk, desk here. Yeah. A desk. Oh, a desk. Wow, yeah. Yeah. A, a desk. desk. A desk. Holy cow. With, like, work. Can you do some work? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, because this is an art studio. Or a television studio. Yeah. It's a studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, over here is a... We're, I mean... <laughs> if, there was if, this, if this table wasn't here... Uh-huh. And then it's just, like, a chair... Yeah. And then you have this is on... Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome, right? That's pretty cool. I mean, all I have to do is move the table. Even the oh, benches yeah. are fine. <laughs> like, oh, right? the benches are okay, yeah. Or, or, where, or where's all this stuff like going to one go? swiveling chair. I mean, not, none of that stuff needs to be there. Yeah, I guess we could take out the whole booth and then, yeah. And then we don't... Then you just need to, I mean... Like a small... T like, a, like, a, like a cocktail table or something. Is that what they call it? Like a small table just for the keyboard only. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like the mouse on, on my knee. Yeah. I like the mouse on, like, a table. Yeah. But there's no room for that. I was thinking about, like, I have a cubicle. I was thinking about building a cubicle in my home. Because <laughs> I'm going to be working from home. Wait, maybe we should have a cubicle in here. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, that would be... Um, get rid of the booth and put in a cubicle. Yeah. And then it would be, like, two rooms. Yeah, there's, like, the control room. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, should we just ask if we can rent the other room across the hall? I wonder how much more that would cost. I don't know. Move across the hall, but there's no ventilation. That could be the storage room or something. I don't know what it is, but... That'd be nice. Um, anyway, something to think about. Time to do the message to the future. Hey, future! It's us, the past. Patsy, touch. Come on. Oh, good dog. Did you uh, live after you ate so much? Did you crash the car? Um... How much pork is too much pork? We did some hobnobbing today, or I did, I guess. We were at the... Um, Nobs and hobs. The Olympic rental, like, what is it? Uh, unusually robust... Uh, Party. What is it? Unusually Drinks? robust... Food? Food. Bye, yeah. future. Refreshments. Um, I was, I was like... Oh yeah, what, I was yesterday, yesterday I was talking about nipping in the bud. What oh do you yeah. call that? Is it nip? Nip, nip, it, nip it in the bud. Is that like a plant reference? Yeah. It is? You like yeah. cut, cut the bud before it turns into something. Yeah, I think you even can like pinch it with your fingers and it stops it. I was saying, yesterday I was saying that I'm going to nipple it in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, Patsy's confused about why you hit yourself in the head. 
Uh, yeah, I'm anonymous. You can use uh, this for if you ever have a guest. You if don't you want, want to remain anonymous. Identity. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, the show's about over. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, Patsy. Patsy, good dog. Thanks, Todd. Uh, and Andrew, and Yalfa, and Mr. Ginsu. One other thing about that party we went to, I'm pretty sure one of those people there was the lady who was in contact with me recently trying to raise our rent. Mm. And I just stopped answering her call. <laughs> oh, yeah? And then, like, I saw her at some other thing, and she was like, oh, you're kind of hard to get a hold of. I was like, oh, yeah? Oh. It was like, I was like, I was at work just now, because I thought she was talking about the other thing. Somebody brought it up with me today, too, actually, at the party. Who was like, it? And, uh, some guy that worked there, and he's like, okay. he's like oh, does they ever raise the window? Like, oh, yeah, no, hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I just, like, stopped talking to her about it. <laughs> that's why we're going to ask the only way. <laughs> All right. So, and, I, I, and I don't remember who it was, so I was probably good. just like, hey, how you doing? You know? That's good. Let me hop and with you a little bit. Thanks for watching. It's Friday. We're on TCTV channel 22, 11, 30, and 20. Check it out. Yeah. Why do you still be on, on YouTube? 360, I think, 6034. Call me message. Go on TV. Yeah. Why do you still be on Fridays. Yeah. TCTV, the Baby Joy Papa's Up Books, Four Star Video, South Fire Com. Rebecca, Mountain Board, Northwest, Mark Topwares. Oh, where's Mark? Thanks to come on State USA. Thank you, and viewers. You're watching. Thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Speak. Bye.